Hey guys, so we're possibly two weeks away from new Sony Xperia flagship phone, so very, very exciting. Most likely you're going to have the Snapdragon 45 processor, probably the first phones to have that. And guys, there's a ton of rumors out there to spend the past two, three hours looking for everything. Uh, so in this video, we're going to discuss the most likely scenarios in my opinion. Now, first of all, we are going to get a new Sony Xperia flagship phones, almost certainly in either January or February. Now, there's a pretty big difference between the time frames here, guys. So in January, we'll be at CES. That is January 8th, so literally just two weeks away. Um, the other time period could be Mobile World Congress, and that is in February, uh, February 26th. So, last year it was more close to the uh, Mo Mobile World Congress when they released the new phones. Um, the CES rumor, I don't think it has much credibility as the February one. So, I'd say probably most likely going to be waiting until MWC in February. But it is at least possible uh, that we could be getting news in two weeks at CES. Now we do know for certain Sony will have a presentation at CES. Uh, could be Sony Xperia waited as some of these rumors are saying, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Now next up, this is pretty much confirmed at this point by Sony themselves, but there will be bezel screen displays. Uh, Sony, they're pretty slow here with the bezel screen displays, but at least we will be getting those in 2018. Uh, Going to be showing you guys some pictures here, some renders, but... Personally, I don't think these are legitimate, but they, uh, I guess at least they could be. Uh, it should be a square or rather a rectangle shape. I think they're going to be keeping this uh, design language like they've had in the past. But again, guys, it's much more bezels this time. Oh, and by the way, I'm filming this on a Sony Xperia X1. So I'm going to know in the comment section what you guys think of the quality. Uh, it's using the front face camera on it. So according to Geekbench, looks like we'll be getting two new models of this. Uh, one of them is uh, the H. H82XX, and then the other one is H81XX. Uh, both of them definitely flagship phones. And looks like one of them probably going to be 1080p, the other one 4K screen. Uh, the 4K is probably... Now, this is where a lot of the reports differ. Some of them are saying 16x9, others 18x9. Uh, personally, I don't think it makes a huge difference, but it does look at least one of them will be either Full HD, 2K, and one of them definitely should be 4K. So it could be a situation where we have the Sony Xperia XE2 and XE2 Premium. Um, also, Snapdragon 45 that has been leaked in Geek, uh, Geekbench. There were a lot of rumors for a while that they may have the Snapdragon 835, which I think would have been a pretty big mistake. So, But at a minimum, guys, it does look like at least one of them will have the Snapdragon 845. Uh, I think Samsung will be the first one to release it again in the, uh, in the Samsung Galaxy S9. But... Uh, Last year, actually, Sony was the first one to announce the phones in February. The first uh, Snapdragon 835 phone. So it could be the same situation this year. And speaking of, guys, I, I hope that we don't have a similar thing as last year where you know they announced it in February or even January. And they don't uh, end up releasing stuff till June. Um, so I think Samsung they might be releasing the Galaxy S9 a bit earlier. So hopefully the same, uh, hopefully the same is true for Sony this year. And also it's pretty certain we'll have two different options for storage, either four or six gigabytes of RAM and uh, 64 one train gigabytes internal storage. So, uh, you know, not the best because a lot of phones have eight gigabytes of RAM now, but at least a pretty big step up there from four to six. So it's looking over some of these other specs, uh, looking pretty likely that they'll have two 12 megapixel cameras on the back. And well, I mean, really guys, megapixels don't mean that much, but it is kind of odd that Sony you know, they're going back from like 23 a couple years back, last year 19, this year possibly 12 megapixels. Um, you know, like the iPhone 10, the Google Pixel 2 XL, those have uh, Galaxy Note 8, those all have excellent cameras, all of them are 12 megapixels. So if they, you know, if they reach the setup, uh, not a big deal, but not terribly exciting either. Uh, the front facing camera, 15, 16 megapixels, which sounds pretty good. Uh, again, guys, I'm filming this on the Sony Xperia X1, and this is an excellent front facing camera. Uh, 3130 capacity battery, and that is most likely for the premium version of this. Uh, you know, not, not the best, but not terrible either. Sony phones usually pretty good battery life on them. And honestly, guys, there were other rumors, but uh, I think these are by far the most likely ones. So I don't want to just, I know a lot of YouTube channels, they'll so kind of like hype this stuff up. Um, they'll take like unfounded rumors, pictures, and then they'll make a big deal about it. But really don't feel like doing that, guys. Just focus on the most likely stuff. And I mean, overall, it seems that we'll be getting at least two pretty good phones, definitely in the first quarter. 
Uh, I really don't see this release in any way or at least being announced any way or than uh, MWC. CES, I think a bit of a stretch. Again, guys, January 8th, but hopefully we'll get it then. So overall, guys, it does seem all these rumors are pretty positive. Uh, definitely good rumors to have. No bad rumors. I haven't seen anything about like lack of micro SD card support, lack of a headphone jack, uh, you know, increased price, anything like that. Whereas with a lot of phones like the iPhone 10, there are just a lot of bad rumors. Did end up, uh, did end up being true. Oh, fingerprint scanner. That is that actually, uh, there. There's a lot of models. Some of them maybe mid rangers that leaked. Uh, some of them do have the fingerprint scanner on the back, so it is a possibility, but uh, I think most likely for the flagships will be on the side once again. So overall, definitely good rumors to have, and extremely excited for CS in a couple weeks. Uh, and of course, guys, tons more videos planned. Now, if you guys like this video, want some more like it, press the button mirror there, subscribe. Uh, put it right on my face there in the middle. Or you can press it in the top left or the top right for another video right now. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.